I am tired of getting killed by mobs in Minecraft. We've all been there, right? We've all had that moment where you're just chilling in your Minecraft world, doing whatever you're doing, may it be farming, crafting, building, or just being AFK in general. And then suddenly a, a mob kills you and you lose all your items. And then you respawn back and you gotta travel all the way back just to regain those items and there's like a small, just like a slim small chance that they probably despawn at that point so it's a, it's a big hassle basically. Even back before I started YouTube, when I was depressed and lonely, a creeper blew up and basically destroyed all my chests and left me with this. I mean I'm still depressed and lonely now but this is still. And ever since then for the almost past 3 years, I've been trying to find a way to just not get filled up by what? A goddamn creeper. Uh but Matthew, did you know that creepers are scared of cats? Why don't you just go out and tame a cat? That was my original plan actually, but the problem is that it's just kind of hard to find a village now, especially since the Caves and Cliffs update just kinda, you know, spread out everything. You know, like you gotta climb Mount Everest now, and you even gotta swim across the Pacific Ocean, and you even gotta traverse the literal depths of hell. And even if I do find one, most of the time, cats just... Uh, but Matthew, that was only a one-time thing. It'll probably never happen again. I started playing survival again and my chest got blown up by a goddamn creeper again. So what am I gonna do? Play on peaceful mode for my entire goddamn life? No, 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 no. That's stupid. Instead, what I'm gonna do is make a mob that can detect other mobs in the game. Jeez, I've really fallen off. Now I know what you're all thinking. Matthew, you're an idiot. There's no way you can make a mob that can detect other mobs in the game. And you'll be right because, well, um, they already exist in the game. Back in 2017, Moja introduced parrots in Java version 1.12 or in Bedrock version 1.2. A mob with the ability to mimic sounds when they're close enough to another mob. I don't actually remember if they introduced it in the same year for Bedrock. I'm just gonna assume it is and hope that someone doesn't call me out for assuming their release date. Oh, but Matthew, isn't that just exactly what we want? Well, yeah, but n n no. See, the real problem is that, well, yeah, parrots can already somewhat detect mobs. But the thing is that they're just mimicking the sound. It's not exactly, you know, alarming, like a human parking sensor. <laughs> so here's the plan now. So in order for the parrot to mimic sounds from other mobs, they have to use the same audio file from said other mobs. Which means we have to change those audio files and that in turn, changes the sounds parrots imitate. And what I want to do is switch those audio files with audio files of just screaming. It's more fun that way. And since parrots only imitate one particular set of audio files out of the rest, all we have to do is change one of those audio files and we basically have ourselves a screaming parrot. Oh yeah, and uh, don't worry about this little crater here. Uh, I kind of did something about over one and a half years ago, which kind of spiraled into a chain of events which ultimately landed me back in my old microphone in like the first half of 2021. Uh, just, just like, ignore it. Lord. Okay, so here's what I have going on right now. So what I did to get those audio files is I record a short video, I convert that into an audio file, and then I switch that file with the original audio file. So right now I'm just using an audio piece from this video for the parrot, and when the parrot wants to imitate it... Okay, so it's a little bit sped up, but we can edit that before we convert it. So all we gotta do now is get some screen recordings. And what better way to get those screen recordings than from compilation videos of the loudest Minecraft YouTuber to probably ever exist. That's right, George not found. Oh no, my pet creeper is buried somewhere on the ground. Why is it buried? Um, don't ask about it. Ah gee, if only there was a way, or more specifically, a mob that could help me detect my pet creeper that's buried on the ground. Oh no. Oh, how convenient, a, a little parrot. It appears that the parrot is <coughs> and it's going somewhere. Where are you going, <coughs> What's that? Is my pet creeper under here? There's my pet creeper. Thank you, where, where is the parrot? Thank you, fellow screaming parrot. <coughs> and, it's <coughs> and it's flying away. I just realized, should I put a warning for loud sounds in like the beginning of this video? Finally, harmony. My Finnish symphony is perfect. Oh 
And that's the end of the video. Sorry this was a little bit shorter than usual. I'm trying to go for a different route this time around. It's 2023, lots of things are changing. Imagine if 4 billion people were to suddenly appear out of thin fucking year later in October. Wait, why did I just get censored? Oh yeah, according to Jesus Christ, um, YouTube decided to extract the changes to the swearing policies and we're trying to figure out how that works. Well that's bullshit. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for future videos, you can leave that in the comments. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. And um, Happy New Year's everyone.